What is up, V Dubs? No, I just had to do that. Somebody sent us an email the other day, and that was their opening line. Hey, what's up, V Dubs? Thought that was kind of comical. Anyway, y'all probably didn't even giggle with that one. I am fixing to work on something Andrea has been asking about for a little while. It is going to be a place for her to put roses. As you know, in one of our past videos, I brought home some old rose hips that I'd found on the side of the road. They ended up, I don't think they was any good, but it's a thought that counted, I guess. But we have ended up getting us four different roses, two of which come from Stark Brothers, and then we bought two climbing roses that come from just a big box store. And we are fixing to build a little bit of a raised bed and also an, kind of an arch, arbor thing i've got it up here i don't have nothing drawn out so we'll see how this goes with my mind all right for now this is the hardest part of the work nasty old post hole diggers but now we gotta dig four holes to put these posts in to get us started For as much rain as we've had here lately, that stinking ground is hard. I'm gonna be here for a little while. I thought we'd uh, do like a long time lapse thing, fast forward it. I think I'll run out of battery before I ever get the first hole dug. So I get some progress made, I'll be right back. All right, I am on the last hole. Yeah, I don't need them no more. I had to put them on. I had a bee that was being mischievous. She kept buzzing around my head, not acting like she's gonna sting me. But just irritating enough that I wanted to swat at her. So what I ended up doing, I put her in timeout. She followed me into the greenhouse and I shut the door and she's still in there. So there's step one. A little out of breath there. Fat boy uh, ain't used to digging post holes anymore. I used to do that when I was a teenager, but it's been uh, several years since I've had to do it by hand. I have come to figure out that using a hydraulic post driver is much, much easier and much, much quicker. But I don't have it right now. We're just gonna make this right here work. And it worked. Okay, now what we're gonna work on is leveling them up and trying to make sure everything is square. It ain't gotta be perfect, but my perfectionism, I do want it really close. That there that I'm hammering in the ground is just what they call a concrete stake. It's a metal bar, you got a point on the end. It's got holes drilled right here and on the opposite, about 90 degrees out. It's got them right there. All you have to do with that, get it nailed in the ground, holding it solid, then you'll screw your two by four to that and to your post. It'll hold it solid while you pour your concrete. That way you don't get out of level. But I've got them set and they're solid, not not really gonna move. Put a little dry concrete down the hole. And I didn't make very big holes, so it's gonna be a little more tight to get it in there, which that's good. I 
I just get you a little stick or a bar, something like that, kind of tamp it down in there, make the sides solid. Now we'll give it a little bit of water to start soaking in. Now the water. I'm gonna take a whole lot. All right, step two is complete. They're all set. Concrete is in the hole. I put the water on top of it. Let all that soak in. Now I can't bother till tomorrow, and then tomorrow we'll get started on working on the boxes. Okay, y'all, it is Saturday here. We're all here. We're cranking out some work. We've done our chores. We've done our feeding. Uh, washed eggs for the week. All kinds of stuff. And we're back on this arbor. If you were not on our live last night, though, I don't know if you're going to recognize the guy that I've got helping me work today. Um, if you don't, I'll introduce you. All right, I want y'all to meet Ben from VW Family Farm. <laughs> Look at that beard. Surprise. That trim. Y'all didn't even know what he looked like under there, did you? Ooh, cover it back up. He's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be honest with y'all. We, before we started our YouTube channel, we watched YouTube for inspiration on how to do things different and better and just how other people were doing stuff. We learned so much from YouTube, how to do everything from um, gardening better to cutting hair to all kinds of crazy stuff off YouTube. We fixed refrigerators, we fixed um, boats and everything else off of YouTube. But just because we now put out videos and we have a channel of our own doesn't mean we don't still get inspiration from other people putting out videos. So obviously y'all have seen Jess's arbors with her climbing roses on her channel. And so we saw those and thought those are really pretty. And I have actually wanted rose bushes and climbing roses for a long time because I want rose hips. Uh, rose hips are an excellent source of vitamin C and immune boosting properties. We have actually went searching for wild roses to get hips off of. And so I've wanted to plant roses for a while. So this is going to serve two purposes. Beauty as well as I'm going to get me some rose hips. So we're planting a couple different things today. You're going to see on this video we're making like an L-shaped bed because we went to Lowe's and got some climbing roses. Uh, there was only one variety at Lowe's. And this is all they had. So it's called Tangerine Skies. It's an arbor rose. You can see here on the tag. And you can see how beautiful they are. They're already blooming out just sitting here in the pots. Uh, they're covered in blooms. Really excited about these. So like I said, that's the only color they had. So we didn't have a choice on that. And then as well, Stark Brothers sent us some roses. They're not climbing roses, but they're knockout roses. And knockout roses are super beautiful when they bloom. They're just like what they say. They are knockout. They are, um, they're just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna take you in the greenhouse and show you those. We're gonna plant those. They're not climbing roses. So we're gonna plant those um, in the other side of the bed. You'll see as we get this done because they won't be climbing the arbor. So here are these from Stark Brothers. They are pink double knockout. And I'm fixing to take these outside and give them a little drink. Um, but like I said, these are gonna be more of a bush rose. I'm really excited about those. Stark Brothers, all their stuff we've gotten from them has been excellent. This is actually what they will look like. Super beautiful. So if you decide to order from Stark Brothers, remember VWFF10 discount code to get you 10% off. Be sure and use that and save some money. I also plan sometime in the future to get, um, it's called a, I'm probably butchering this, but it's called a Rugosa. Uh, that is the best rose for hips. And so I plan to do that in the future sometime and add that to my little rose collection. So there is the poles and the beginnings of the bed. Oh. All right, it is yeah, coming be... together.
There's the star of the show. Miracle! Miracle! Hey, girl. What you doing? Tell them! While we're walking past, we notice the bobs have just fit right in with these. They're so funny with the little afros. They didn't get bullied or anything. The Bobs graduated this morning and they have moved on with the big layers. So hopefully they're gonna start laying pretty soon. Mr. Perfectionist over here doing his thing. I'm a perfectionist. I do just like it look semi close to right. All right, it is Mother's Day, and we are about to finish this arbor. This has been a what three day project? Yes, three days now. Don't show them yet. We got to wait till the completed product. Completed product. Can I show what we're trimming? Or are we not showing it at all? Okay, at this point, I guess I can't show it at all, but um, we're gonna wrap this up here in just the next few minutes, and I will give you the first peak of it. All right, we are finally finished. Actually, I got just a little bit more burning to do. Burning, what do you say in there? I'll show you. I will give you the full tour. Andrea, are you through nailing? Dun 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 dun. That it is, is it. Pretty. And don't you just love the pretty blue buckets in the background? Emily said we have to get rid of them. Nah. That's what I'm talking. I'm burning. I'm burning all the sides. Well, I haven't quite got to here. But it's getting dark. We just finished burning and stapling up the lattice. Beautiful roses. Got our little knockout roses from Stark Brothers. And um, your climbing roses from Box Store. Yep. <laughs> Which these things are gorgeous. Them things are gorgeous. They're almost as gorgeous as this mother. Aw. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Thank you. So this honestly didn't cost us that much money. Um, when you really try to do things cost effectively, Ben can make a board stretch like nobody I've ever seen. He can, he measures it down to where he's left with tiny pieces. He's very frugal when it comes to building because lumber is expensive. But this didn't cost us that much money um, and it was just a little weekend project. I think it's really going to spruce up the entrance here to the greenhouse as well as I just think this is going to be beautiful climbing over this. I've always wanted some rose bushes for rose hips as well as beauty and I'm super pleased with it. Happy Mother's Day! Thank you! So that's it, and it leads right into one of our favorite places here on the farm, right into the greenhouse. Thanks, Ben, for all your hard work, and thank y'all for watching, and we will see you guys later. God bless. 
and look at that gorgeous sky to end the day. I love how that sun is shining through those trees over there.